All right, boys and girls, welcome to Sunday School. So glad you're joining us virtually this morning. To start off with, I have some challenges for you. First, I want you to clap your hands 23 times. Everybody do it. Now I want you to jump up and down 23 times. I'm not gonna do that, but you do it 23 times, go. All right, now let's see if you can jog in place for 23 seconds. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Everybody do it? All right, well, the reason I had you doing all these activities and challenges based around the number 23 is because we are gonna be reading one of the most famous Psalms in the Bible, Psalm 23 today. This week, we're starting studying from the book of Psalms. So remember last week, we were in the book of Ruth. We're moving to another book, the book of Psalms. The word Psalm means song. So who, uh, excuse me, does anybody know who wrote the book of Psalms? You can say it out loud if you're sitting with someone or say it in your head. We know that many people wrote the book of Psalms. So all the different songs that are in there were written by different authors, but many of them were written by King David. Our object this week is the David Mosaic. The Hebrew writing on this mosaic is the name of David. David is the author of the Psalm that we are gonna be reading this week. Um, we are going to learn in this Psalm about how God cares for his people. So that's kind of the main theme you're going to see throughout Psalm 23, how God cares for his people. So listen closely as we're going through it. We're going to pause for a time of worship and then we're going to jump right into Psalm 23. in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. Jesus made a place in heaven for me. Bring it down. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. Jesus made a place in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train. This train. This train.
All right, before I hand it over to Miss Becky to read the whole Psalm 23, I'm so excited. We're going to read the entire passage today. Before I hand it over to her to read Psalm 23 to you all, I want to ask you if you know if the book of Psalms is in the Old or the New Testament. It's in the Old Testament. So the fact that King David was one of the authors should have given you a hint that it was in the Old Testament. See if you can find the book of Psalm in your Bible and then flip to Psalm 23. All right, and I'm going to hand it off to Miss Becky to read Psalm 23. While she is reading, be listening closely. Remember the theme of our lesson today and the theme of our psalm is that God cares for you. So listen to the ways that God is caring for his people in this psalm. Psalm 23, a psalm of David. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. All right, we're gonna look at our picture of the week this week. Miss Becky made fun of me this week because I always say I'm gonna show you the picture, but Miss Becky is actually the one who puts the pictures into the video. So Miss Becky is gonna show you the lesson picture this week and I am going to retell the story to you while we look at it. David wrote a song about God. David talked about God being like a shepherd to his people. The Lord is my shepherd, I have what I need. David described how God had cared for him. God leads me to peaceful places to rest. He helps me become strong again. God leads me to the right paths because he is always good and true. Then David said, God leads me during tough times, so I do not need to be afraid. God cares for me like I am a special guest at a meal. God provides for me while my enemies watch. God's goodness and faithful love will always be with me. All right, so does anybody know what the main job of a shepherd is? What is a shepherd? A shepherd is someone who takes care of sheep, right? And his main job is to keep his flock of sheep safe. The Bible tells us that God is our shepherd. So God is always taking care of us. He wants to keep us safe. God gave us the Bible to show us how to live, right? It tells us how to be like God and how to live a life to glorify him. When we follow God's plan, he provides us with everything we need, just like the psalm says. There are two verses in here that tell us explicitly what God does for us. Remember, he has a plan for our lives. In the past few weeks, we've been talking about how we can trust God's plan. We can trust him to lead us on down the right path. We can trust him even when times are tough. And we know that even when we can't always see it, we know that God is always working, right? So we have seen evidence and then it's kind of culminated in this psalm that we're reading today we've seen evidence of how god cares for his people and remember i've been telling you guys here in sunday school virtually and those of us who are coming and meeting in the church we've been talking about how the old testament god the god that we're reading about who was ruth's god and naomi's god that same God is the God that we worship now, right? The Bible is written about the God that we worship. So we know that if it's true for Ruth, if it's true for Boaz, if it's true for King David, it is also true for us, right? God cares for his people. Say that back to me. Say God cares for his people. <laughs> Good job. So remember that when we talk about God caring for his people, that includes us. God is caring for us. We are going to head to Joel now for our Explore the Bible time. Enjoy.
Today we are in Psalm 23, oftentimes referred to as the Shepherd Psalm. I'll explain why in a moment. You see, today I'm hanging out with some really cool shepherds, and as you can see, I'm dressed like an authentic shepherd. You have to dress like this if you're gonna be a real shepherd, which I really wanna be a, a real shepherd. Um, so first, go ahead and turn in your Bibles to Psalm 23 and get ready to discover that God cares and provides for his people. I'm Joel, this is Sheepy Sheep, and this is Explore the Bible on location. You really like this bread, don't you? It's tasty. Hey, what's your favorite color? Bread is my favorite color too. Before King David was, well, King David, he was just a shepherd. He knew a lot about being a good shepherd. He knew how to protect his sheep from predators. He knew how to lead his sheep to green pastures for food. He knew how to lead his sheep to quiet, still waters for refreshment. David took great care of his sheep. In Psalm 23, King David wrote that the Lord was his shepherd. The Lord took better care of David than David ever cared for his own sheep. What does it take to be a good shepherd? Let's find out. Ba -a 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 -a. Ba -a -a you know what I'm saying, right? I'm communicating with Sheepy Sheep. Um, the reason that she can understand me is because of my authentic shepherd's dress, garb, outfit that I'm wearing. When you wear an outfit like this, Sheep can understand what you're saying. Uh huh. I was asking her if she likes roller coasters, and she does. <laughs> What's that? Oh, no, no, I, I'm a shepherd. That's why I'm out here. I'm with sheepy sheep. Can't you tell with my outfit? Oh, what? Oh, shepherds don't wear this anymore? Sheepy sheep, why didn't you tell me that? Um. Okay, I didn't know that. Is there a place I could change? All right, everybody, we are here with Sharon. Thanks for letting us visit today. Great to have you. All right, Sharon, you get to work with these amazing sheep. Can you tell us a little bit about them? Like, what are they like? What are they not like? What do they like to eat? Things like that. Well, um, they spend a lot of their day just roaming around the fields and eating. They lay around a lot when it gets hot and go find the shade in the middle of the day and usually in the evening they kind of get back up and are active and start eating again. But that's pretty much their life is eating, sleeping, and drinking. Wow, they like to roam around, eat food, get treats, and lay in the shade when it's hot. I could be a sheep. Now, do they ever get anything special to eat? They do, we, we feed them sweet feed, and then a lot of times crackers, cookies, whatever we have left over, bread. They love anything sweet, so they get a lot of treats too. All right, so imagine, that we're not here on this modern, super cool, beautiful farm, but we're way back in Bible times, and you had to lead your sheep out into the open wilderness to get food. What would be some of the challenges? I would think just keeping them together because they tend to kind of stray off, and when one does, they all tend to follow. Uh, predators, especially at night, um, that's where you really have to watch out for predators. Um, just making sure that they have shade when it's really hot because they don't tolerate the heat well, and water and food. Wow, that's a lot of things you have to make sure that your flock has out in the wilderness. You talked about wandering. So some of them tend to wander, talk about that. They do, sometimes we'll have, especially the younger sheep that will find a weak spot in the fence and wanna jump the fence or just find a hole in the fence and get out. And sometimes they'll lead some of the, the other younger sheep with them. Um, and we have to make sure and find where they're getting out and stop them because they tend to kind of repeat that behavior and go back to the same spot and do it again. Even though they don't really want to be out, they just keep doing it. Now, way back in the day, to provide protection from predators, shepherds had to be with their flocks at nighttime. Do you guys sleep out here? No, we have a dog that takes care of that for us. Okay, so explain that. 
how, how does the dog do that? Well, during the day when there's no predators around and we don't really have much problem, she usually sleeps all day long. And then at night, she stays up all night. And when we're in the house, we can hear her out here barking just at coyotes around the fence line and things like that. So she does most of her work at night. Wow, taking care of sheep is pretty tough. Do you mind if uh, maybe you can show us around a little bit? Sure. Is that good? Look at that. That's tasty. Is that tasty? Yes. <laughs> I'm a shepherd herper. Uh, awesome. Like a shepherd with a flock of sheep, the Lord takes care of all our needs. Only the Lord knows how to provide for the things we need. Only the Lord leads us on the right path for his namesake. That means that not all paths are right. Following and obeying God leads us to peace and to a right relationship with Him. What if we go through trials? Psalm 23 says that the Lord is always with us, comforting us. What if there are enemies trying to get us? Psalm 23 says that the Lord prepares a table for us even when enemies are near. The Lord is a shepherd who protects and cares for us always. King David killed lions and bears to protect his sheep. The Lord defeated all David's enemies to protect him. God cares for his people. A special thanks to Sharon. This has been so much fun. Just like David watched over his sheep, God is watching over us. That's what we discover when we dig into the book of Psalms. I'm Joel, she's Sharon, this is Sheepy Sheep, and this is Explore the Bible on Location. So one last question, um, do shepherds ever ride the sheep? No. Oh, but maybe I could ride the sheep. No. Oh. You've tried to ride a sheep. No. Nope. I think you're missing out. <laughs>